Speaker. From the onset, allow me to say that I rise to oppose the motion of the removal by way of impeachment of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. An Honorable Speaker, for the last two days, today and yesterday, we have been treated to a charade of allegations, accusations, which, in my opinion, have not been substantiated either by the move of the motion, the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, or the advocates uh, who he came with, uh, or the advocates that are on record for the National Assembly. And Honorable Speaker, I am actually quite surprised that uh, one of the advocates who appeared to represent the National Assembly tells us that the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, his was only to allege. This is not a trial. He didn't have to substantiate. He only needed to uh, allege and out of the allegation, then it should be carried and we need to remove uh, Honorable Deputy President from, the, um, from office. Honorable Speaker, looking at the evidence that the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse put in his motion and the cross-examination that was here, the evidence that he brought to the House, he had 22 companies that he had listed. And every, when questions were running to him, what problem do you have with the company number one? I don't have a problem with it. Maybe it will have a problem in future. But the deputy president must be removed from office. What, do you have a pro uh, what, what, what problem do you have with company number two? I don't have a problem with it. But uh, it might have a problem in future. And the deputy president must be removed from office. And he kept telling us, I don't have a problem with the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. But the deputy president has to be removed from office. Honorable Speaker, I posed a question to the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse. He alleged that... Uh, the deputy president has a dairy farm in Nyandaro County. The fairest thing, or the least that anybody would do to such an accusation, you need to tell us where in Nyandaro is this land. At least remotely tell us what is the title number, so that even if, as the area senator, if I want to verify that indeed the deputy president has a dairy farm in Nyandaro, there is something that I can look at. Honorable Speaker, he said, I don't know, but the Deputy President has to be removed because it is time to remove the Deputy President. On the question about Meru, where is the title number? I don't have it, but the Deputy President has to be removed uh, from office. Um, his wealth is 5.2 billion. Have you done a valuation? I don't have a valuation. I don't have a valuation. I don't mind. The Deputy President has to be removed from office. There is no evidence that I have in record. I, I don't mind. The other uh, funnier question that we had, Honorable Speaker, is that the Deputy President has an allegation of insubordination. And the insubordination can only be sanctioned by the immediate supervisor of the deputy president. The immediate supervisor of the deputy president is the president. Is there any affidavit that the president has complained that there has been insubordination by his own deputy? Nothing. But the only thing that I would want to hold on to on this particular allegation of the deputy president having uh, been alleged to have insubordinated his immediate supervisor since this motion of impeachment started, we have not had any comment from the president, either saying what has been alleged by Honorable Mwengi Mutuse is true or not true. So I want to believe that beyond the owner of the motion of uh, uh, the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, the president is the bigger owner because he has not, he has not denied that, this is, uh, that he, there has been an insubordination. And my comment would be this. This divorce that the president is looking for, you shall get it, but it will be painful, it will be hurtful, it will be catastrophic, it will have casualties. At the final vote that will be casted today, we might be the first casualties. But the casualties of today are not necessarily the casualties of tomorrow. And out of the vote that shall be taken, I'm speaking to our partners in the coalition and the other people who are here from ODM and the other parties. This vote that you shall take today it is not in vain that the Senator for Nyandarwa, it is not in vain that the Senator for Kiambu, it is not in vain that the Senator for Muranga, it is not in vain that the Senator for Raikipia, it is not in vain that the Senator for Kirinyaga, with strict instructions from the people who erected this government, have told them to come and oppose the motion that is on this floor of the House. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Speaker, I'm, 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 I'm being disrupted. The point that I wanted to make is, it is not in vain that we have been instructed not to sanction this divorce. But if it comes, we shall take it in our strides. I want to tell the people who are here, the vote that you shall cast here, we shall not put it in our minds. We shall put it in our hearts. The people of the region that I have mentioned are at their lowest. We are calling on the senators who are here. 
it is time to stand with us. Finally, this motion has to be, had to be processed in a haste. We had to try a man in hospital because the only crime that Rigadi Gashago has committed is a political crime. So he had to be removed out of the way, whatever it, it would take, whether he's in hospital, whatever it would take, he has to get out of the way. Out of the way. That can only happen if it has the direct sanctioning of the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto. Senator Tomo Jenda.